Look, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's... Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Ugh. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? So James Gunn has taken to Instagram revealing the new Superman suit, and I'm not gonna lie, I think it looks awful. I think it's horrible. That is an ugly, ugly costume. Got the bad <laughs> and look, no, I'm not gonna go all Snyder fanboy, be all like, uh, it doesn't look good because it's not Henry Cavill. Uh, no. It's just a bad costume. You know, this costume to me does not scream multi-million dollar Superman film. This looks like something you would see on the CW. This looks like the Superman and Lois costume. This looks awful. Like, why is it so thick and why is it wrinkling in all the weird places? Like, I genuinely thought James Gunn was gonna go all classic, go all Christopher Reeve, go all spandex, you know, minimal muscle padding and such. No, he's kind of like given his Superman a really like bulky look and it just, it looks like a jacket. I, I don't like this. We've got David Corrin Sweat, who I am not judging as Superman. I haven't seen him yet. He looks like Superman. But in this photo, he looks like diet budget Henry Cavill. Which doesn't help purely for the fact that Henry Cavill's Superman costumes were amazingly designed. They were skin tight, even though they had muscle padding, but the muscle padding made sense and it looked cool. It looked like a cool Kryptonian armor. This costume is just... It's so bizarre, these like weird lines across it are all just like ugly. The Kingdom Come logo is okay. Like the one thing I will rate about this costume is the fact that he's got his trunks again. Like that's cool. But like what's up with the collar section? Like no, give him the, the you know, square cut collar thing. What's going on here? What What is this design? Even Corrin Sweat's hair, I don't love it that much. Like it's too like clean cut. Like. I was imagining like Henry Cavill's hair from Man of Steel, but it's not that. But also, Corrin Sweat, the whole point of James Gunn you know, rebooting Superman was that he wanted a Superman that was younger and wanted to, you know, be more youthful. He kind of just looks like Henry Cavill. He looks like the same age Henry Cavill is. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I thought this costume was gonna be so much more different. I was expecting a more updated version of the Christopher Reeve aesthetic. Because I won't lie, revisiting the Christopher Reeve Superman films, that costume's really good for the time. Like, it's just a guy in a spandex bodysuit, but it works. Like, Christopher Reeve makes it work. That's genuinely what I thought James Gunn was going to do, but you look at this costume and just... No. This... This is not it. Heck, I thought it was going to be similar to the Brandon Routh Kingdom Come suit from the Crisis crossover, but no, this, this is just so baffling. Like, the thing is too, is that I'm not going to jump the gun, haha, <laughs> the James Gunn, haha. <laughs> I'm not going to jump the gun and say that this film is doomed. For all I know, James Gunn is making the most perfect, incredible Superman film, because everything that comes out of Gunn's mouth in regards to what he believes Superman to be and what he wants his Superman to represent, pretty good, you know? He says, like, Superman is a friend to all, he's the guy that you look at and you just want to hug. That is, like, the perfect description of Superman. I agree with everything he's saying, so I feel like, on paper, the film is going to be good. I just don't like this costume. This costume is really throwing me off. I don't know, part of me was just looking forward to going back to basics with Superman. It wasn't going to be Snyder's full-on deconstructional take of Superman, like, the God-Man thing. No, I was kind of just expecting this film just to be a more comic-accurate version of the Christopher Reeve stuff, just a bit more updated. In many ways, like, Superman the Animated Series, that's kind of what I was expecting this to be, and so far... I'm not seeing it. I, I don't see James Gunn's vision. And I've seen people joke about this poster being like, oh, why is Superman taking his time, putting on his boots one at a time, being so slow when the world is literally ending behind him? And it's funny, but then also when you think about it, that kind of, like, is a point. Like, if you want to showcase your new Superman film on the best foot possible, in the best light possible, it kind of says a lot when your Superman is, like, being really lazy and really idle and really slow, and he's not really like jumping into action, there's no shirt rip or anything. It just looks like, does James Gunn really get Superman? Not to mention the fact that the background art looks really AI generated. Even though Gunn says this is all done in camera, the thing is with James Gunn too that I can't really say for sure is that I feel like half the time he's lying when he talks about stuff. It's a habit that he's been doing ever since he was announced as DC Studios co-CEO. Ever since then, he's been like lying through the skin of his teeth or he's been like saying one thing and then saying another thing or instead he's telling a white lie but secretly behind the scenes is actually a much bigger lie and it's, 
it's not a good look. And the thing is too is that I like James Gunn. I see him in interviews. I think he's really fun. I think he's really cool. And the thing is too is that I feel like at the end of the day, this guy is going to make a good Superman film. I'm just not sure about the aesthetics and his overall vision for Superman. I'm not saying that this film is doomed, but my excitement for it has diminished significantly. And the thing is too, I was very cautious about this. I didn't know what to expect. This costume reveal, it's not good. The costume itself is not good. Granted, the colours are alright, they seem to be good. I mean, he's got like battle damage in this image, so it's a bit weird. But it's like... I think the colours are kind of bright. Like, that is the biggest critique of Henry Cavill's suits, is the fact that you look at the actual costumes, like, they're really bright blue, but then Zack Snyder during colour grading really desaturates them, and you're like, Snyder, what are you doing, man? This is Superman. Why have you made it, like, really dark? Like, the blues on the Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman and Justice League suits are blue, but he's, like, somehow dialed it back in colour grading to where they look, like, navy or black, and it's like... Zack, what are you doing, man? You know, looking at it, I just don't like the way the costume sits on him. I don't like the collar, and I don't like the weird, like, wrinkling. Like, I know fabric wrinkled, I know spandex wrinkled, but not like that. You know, I very much thought that James Gunn was going to go the classic route of this is a thing that him and his mum sewed together out of Kryptonian material from, you know, the stuff that was in his shuttle. I thought that's what was going to be the case, but looking at this, it's just... No, this looks like a new 52 Kryptonian-inspired alien design, but it just... It doesn't look right. I, I don't like it. But who knows, maybe the costume looks so much better in person, or maybe it looks better throughout the actual film. Let's see it in motion, with the actual cinema cameras, with the colour grading, in a trailer. Let's see that, you know? But then again, on first glance, I don't like it at all. I don't know, I, I won't say that I've lost faith in this film yet, but who knows? I do just need to see what Gunn is cooking. Like, Part of me really just wants like a classic old school, kind of cheesy, but like a more like tonally palatable cheesy Superman film, like more like Donna's Superman 1. I do just want like a kind of like corny, like 1960s, 1950s vibe of like, ah, oh, gee Lois, let's go save this cat out of a tree, but not to that extreme. I'm trying to think of like a good example of like the perfect balance. Probably Donna's Superman 1, just maybe toned down a tiny bit more, but like, I do want to see Superman like going around like, you know, saving a cat out of a tree or like, you know, saving kids from the street and just being like, hey, no plane in the streets, guys. Ah, the tone of Spider-Man 2, I think that's kind of what I'm after. You know, something to where like it's like cheesy, but like it's sincere. Like I do want to see Superman running through alleyways, ripping open his shirt and then blasting off with the ba 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 or something akin to it. I don't think they should be using the John Williams theme, but... You know what I mean. But those are my thoughts on James Gunn's Superman suit. It sucks. Plain and simple. But the thing is, I'm not jumping the proverbial James Gunn. I'm not jumping straight ahead and saying that the film is doomed. I just don't think visually the costume is very good. For all I know, the story is amazing. The cinematography is fantastic. The visual effects are the best of the genre. I don't know. I'm just going to wait and see. But as of right now... I don't like Corrin Sweat's design of Superman. Which sucks too, because you see the behind the scene pictures of him like training and stuff. The dude is massive. This costume does not hug his skin very nicely, and it does not make him look aesthetic. Say what you will about Zack Snyder and Henry Cavill, you cannot deny that when Henry Cavill showed up on screen, he looked like Superman. But those are my thoughts. What do you guys think of the costume? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the social media, all that good stuff. Until we meet again, see you guys next time. Bam, 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 bam.